How to cat train a retired greyhound? If you are living with a cat and you decide you want to have an addition to your family and go to adopt a retired greyhound, there are several precautions you have to take and measures you have to do to make sure you set them both up for success. Your cat might be very startled when they see you coming back with a um, dog, so keep her in the house so she cannot run away and hide for days on end. Obviously, then you have no chance uh, to train them on each other. When you bring the greyhound in the house, uh, please uh, take uh, the muscle that you get from your adoption agency and put it on and put them on a leash and introduce them very gently. Make sure, a tip here, not to uh, carry your cat around. It looks too much like a toy and will engage uh, the greyhound in fetching games with a cat. What you also want to invest in is a crate. Um, you put uh, your greyhound in the crate for resting time, which is great for you and a great relief for the cat as well. And your greyhound comes crate trained, so he will not mind a bit. Try it the other way around as well. So put the cat in the crate and let the um, greyhound roam around. The cat is not a, a pack animal, but the greyhound is. The greyhound learns to accept the cat as the pack leader when he is supposed to wait with his dinner until the cat is finished. The best thing to make sure he understands his position in the pack is to let the greyhound observe the cat eating dinner, muzzled and on the leash until the cat is completely finished and then you can take the bowl with the remains to the dog's place and let him or her finish uh, the cat food and then serve his dinner after. When you leave uh, the house, uh, please uh, separate uh, the cat and uh, the dog in different rooms or crate uh, the dog um, for the time that you are away to keep both safe. A brilliant tool uh, to educate the greyhound uh, to not to do things is, is just simple water in a spritzer spritz bottle. It doesn't like the water on the nose and will soon learn that whatever behavior it was not uh, desirable, whatever he or she does, did. This especially is when he's chasing or lunging towards a cat. Now when you manage to get your cat and your greyhound to become friends in the house, which is great, well, yeah, this doesn't mean that they are outside the same. So keep the muzzle on your greyhound and every time you let him out, um, uh, unsupervised or even supervised, especially in the night, because as you know, our cats are gray in the night, the dog is a sight hound and it might mistaken the running away house cat for a possum. When you follow these simple steps and uh, put a little bit of patience into that, after a few weeks or a few months, you will see your greyhound and the cat became friends forever. Yay! Two thumbs up and all the paws! Little darling, it's been a long, long racing season. Little darling, it's time to rest and find a home. Here comes the hounds, didn't you know? Here comes the hounds, and I say it's for life. Hounds for life. Hounds for life.